I have been using the Galaxy XR every day for the last two and a half weeks, and a lot of you have been asking in my videos, how comfortable is it? How does it compare to the Vision Pro? Can you wear it for long periods of time? So I wanna answer all of those questions right now. The Galaxy XR is positioned really as a direct competitor to the Vision Pro. And one of the key features or benefits that they really pushed was that this was built for comfort. It is much lighter. I mean, I can really feel the difference. And they say it was really designed from the ground up to be comfortable. It's designed to provide a stable and comfortable fit, even during extended wear. Ooh, I like the fit. This is much lighter than I thought. I, of course, was very excited to find a headset that would have features similar to Vision Pro and also be more comfortable to wear because Vision Pro is a hefty beast. And now it has been out for over a year and a half, and they have recently come out with a pretty good head strap. You can see I have a review of this one in a recent video. Even with this extra head strap, I still prefer to use another third-party solution. And there have been a lot of third-party solutions that have come out to make the Vision Pro more comfortable. I was looking back at the history of my videos. I think I've done 10 videos about different comfort solutions and third-party attachments for the Vision Pro to make it more comfortable. And no spoilers, but I have a big video coming out testing a device that's, let's say, in the multi-hundreds of dollars to make the Vision Pro more comfortable. So keep an eye out for that one. With all of that said, I think this hefty solution that I've found here for the Vision Pro has actually felt quite comfortable for long periods of use. And now the question is, how does the lighter Galaxy XR really compare in day-to-day -day use when it comes to comfort? One issue with XR is that it doesn't have a removable head strap. So any type of third-party solution, and there are a couple that are available right now, they are a little bit limited in terms of how well they're able to kind of adjust how this feels on your head. Compare that to something like Vision Pro, where you can easily take on and off the strap to put on some other straps in its place. The Galaxy has this magnetic forehead attachment here that nicely just sticks right on. And this is the smaller of the two sizes that they provide. And this one has been better for me because it gets you a little bit closer to the lenses and improves your FOV. Now I wanna put these headsets on and really show you what each looks like on my face. And that'll help explain some of my thoughts here when it does come to the comfort for long-term use. Let's just start with the Vision Pro. And again, this new strap they have has tungsten in the back that kind of weighs down and it acts as a counterweight on the back of your head. And it kind of pushes this up on your face. So it reduces the weight that you feel of this kind of device sitting on your face here, again, by that counterweight in the back. So you will see that the M5 Vision Pro is overall heavier than the M2. And again, this is the M2 Vision Pro, but all that extra weight is in this tungsten in the back. So it helps to actually counteract that weight. So I wanna rotate a bit and you can really see exactly how this fits on my head and how many points of contact there are across my face. The cheeks right here are actually feeling some pressure from this light seal that kind of is pressed against my face. Of course, we got the top of the light seal, which is pressing against my lower forehead. We have this third party attachment, which really does help actually. And that's distributing some of the weight on the upper forehead. We also now have this top strap, which goes right around the top of my head. And of course the back strap, five really kind of points of contact, distributing all this extra weight pretty evenly across my head with a lot of methods to adjust and make it feel pretty comfortable for long use cases. And I've done a lot of testing even recently to really compare not only comfort, but media quality, UI, virtual desktop features, et cetera, across these two devices. And I'll tell you right now that even though this is a heavier device on my face here, it actually has been feeling more comfortable for long-term use compared to the Galaxy XR because of all these points of contact evenly distributing this extra weight across my face. I went into a lot of detail there just so you can really understand the difference we see with the Galaxy. So let's go ahead and put this one on. Immediately, it actually does, in a sense, feel lighter. I'm like, wow, okay, this feels like a nice light headset. I can adjust it pretty easily. But when it comes to adjustments, there's really only one major thing I can do, which is this boa in the back to loosen or tighten this up. And then of course I can kind of adjust up and down like that, but there's really only two points of contact. There's my forehead and then the back. And what I found is that even after 15 or 20 minutes, I really start to feel the weight against my forehead. This point of contact here is taking on the brunt of the weight of the headset, and there isn't a great way to actually allow this weight to be better distributed. I will say with a big caveat here, this could just be my face shape. I could just prefer because of the shape of my forehead or whatever, that this 
Vision Pro solution just feels better. And maybe that's a reason I've seen some mixed reviews. Some people do seem to love this lighter headset. They say it's much more comfortable. It is significantly lighter and more comfortable to wear than Vision Pro. For me, it has not been a great solution because of the fewer points of contact. You will notice, I'd mentioned, of course, the bottom of the light seal hitting the cheeks on the Vision Pro. Even with these kind of flimsy light seals on the bottom, they don't help to kind of apply any pressure to my cheeks to distribute this weight at all. And I'll show you what that looks like. So these do a pretty good job of sealing light out, but if you look closely, these really aren't touching my cheeks at all. And I can try to adjust this kind of up and down, even when I'm adjusting it really far down like that, there is a point of contact with the cheeks, but it's not enough to actually take off any of that weight from the forehead. Now, when it comes to visibility, field of view, clarity on the screens, the other kind of interesting thing I found is that ideally for comfort, I would have this part here lower towards the base of my skull. And this helps to keep the weight distributed kind of more evenly, bringing the weight back like this. But then the problem is that the screens are up here a little bit and it becomes hard to see, especially when I'm trying to do like AR type applications, if I'm watching media, if I don't feel like I need to be completely blocked out from any light, I'll take these off again. And I feel like I have to tighten this pretty aggressively in order to have this nice and secure, have a good view of the screens. And it just applies almost even more pressure when I tighten that to the top of my forehead here. And for the best field of view, I almost want the screens to be down like right there. And if you look carefully back at my head here, I'd have to tighten it even more to have that stick there. And I just find myself having a lot of forehead pressure that's hard to kind of forget about when I'm immersed with this headset. I just finished about an hour of work in the Galaxy XR and comparing to the Vision Pro, there is more pressure absolutely on the forehead. It's just not quite as comfortable when wearing for long periods. Of course, there's no pressure on the cheeks, but having all of that pressure on the forehead makes it a bit uncomfortable, usable for even an hour or so, but I was starting to feel that pressure uh, more quickly than I would have with the Vision Pro. Some of you might say that's not really fair because you know, you're using a third party solution with the Vision Pro and I get it. This has been out for a while. There's been a lot of opportunities for companies to come out with their solutions, what they think might work better. There are a couple of mods I've seen that I honestly have not tested yet. I'm planning to get those in, see what I can do to make it more comfortable. But the only thing I've been able to get work is to have a strap like this. This is from some other Vision Pro mod to go under the headset like this and add a little bit of a top strap solution to kind of even out that weight. And so when I put this like this and wear the headset, it does actually allow for a little bit of that weight to be brought up and off of my face. And when I first got this really, <laughs> it's not perfect right now, but when I first got this working, I was actually kind of excited to see how well this would help improve the weight issue on the forehead. But again, even after 10, 15 minutes, I was feeling the same issues and I felt like I had to keep adjusting it and it just wasn't doing the job. So with all that said, at the end of the day, even though there's a lot of extra weight in the Vision Pro, the fact that it's able to distribute that weight across the back of your head better, more evenly, and across all these different pressure points more evenly, it actually makes for more comfortable long-term wearability compared to this lighter Galaxy XR. There have also been other methods that I've tried to kind of get a different strap like through the top here to kind of pull it across the back, but at least with what I had in my tool set, I was not able to figure that out. So I am hopeful that some better third-party solutions will come out soon. But for now, I think for long-term use in an XR headset, I'm gonna stick with the Vision Pro and hope that we see some better solutions for the Galaxy XR. Just a little disappointing that there is this fixed head strap here that is not allowing us to do any more advanced modifications for comfortability. So I hope that answered your questions on comfort. I know everybody's head is different, but this is my experience with these headsets. So let me know if you guys have any questions and otherwise keep an eye out. I got again that video coming out about Vision Pro Comfort and I'm gonna go into a deep dive on media watching performance across these two headsets. Thank you.